Uh, definitely, you know, crime is changing. It's becoming a lot more rampant, a lot more violent, a lot more deadly. Um, you know, the, 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 the desperation uh, in the United Kingdom has definitely changed. Now we investigate the benefits of having a dog that's trained. How will it mitigate these concerns? Is there a difference in the outcome? You win, son. Yeah. Fucking smash it. Fuck it. Fuck him. Yeah? Fucking, fucking take what you want, mate. Yeah? Got fucking. Did you see that geezer on the CCTV? Come on, then. Get him out of this, honey. I believe that definitely these role plays give the dog and the uh, owners a fantastic uh, opportunity to be more efficient when things really uh, do kick off. Hold up! Just a blatant disregard for people's property. You know, just some of the crime is preposterous and outrageous. Let's deal with it with a canine support. Run out towards him. Run Fuck out. off with that move! Keep that move away! Definitely the canine will create fear, panic, will stop the you know uh, activity uh, and most people are going to want to find a way to escape or run away um, and uh, that is exactly what we're looking to do de-escalate the crime and contain the criminal uh, so we can get the criminal arrested The hold and bark is critically important and the dog must maintain that command uh, willingly uh, and, and, and consistently uh, until uh, he's told otherwise, um, especially in a country like the United Kingdom. Let's contain the criminal, let's create pressure and get them arrested wherever possible. Call him into Fus, Platz the dog. Plats. Plats. It's wholly irresponsible uh, teaching clients and dogs to go crashing into bites when people don't even have the basic recall uh, from a defensive uh, altercation or situation. Get that fixed first. Get, right, right. get him on the knees. Right. Approach him with the dog. Activate your dog again. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Activate the pass off again. Good. Role play after role, role play. So you have the intruder uh, getting up now, running off, um, and you know trying to escape. And this is again is the pursuit with the controlled aggression with the hold and bark. Um, that hold and bark is a very important part of the uh, behavior modification. That is should be principal at this time not just going in for a bite. We are in a commercial environment. Back on the line. Sit. Pull your arm. Fools. Sit. Bravo. Good boy. Good boy. Tell him to step out again. Walk out slowly. Right. As I let the fucking dog go. Right. Activate your dog now. Pass off. Right. 
at this stage in the training, you know, the criminal must not be carrying whips or uh, obvious sleeves and even concealed sleeves. We are fading and making it as real as possible. Um, you know, the animal mustn't need a, a sort of uh, agitation from uh, from the criminal to respond to bark and command. You must just do it. Christian, go on over there, grab that. Now you think you have an advantage, go and threaten the dog. Fuck off! No whips, no hidden sleeves. Just picking up a random uh, item to role play with the dog, just to make it as real as possible and to prepare that dog that he must stay forward. Um, and, and he's doing a great job. It's their first time doing this in the right. Take off, go and hide somewhere else now. Take off. Send the dog. Pull out. Pull out. Good boy. We've never been to this site before. Uh, the dog has now been living with them for uh, six, seven months. He's never done a search in this area. He's just reverting back to his training. His knees again. Put him on his knees, tell him to drop the weapon. Don't you know you drop your weapon? The boy Activate the pass off again. Pass off. A very strong, relentless, fearless bark that is absolutely passionate, dedicated and meaningful. That is something that we are developing with great passion. Can you see the escalation in aggression as uh, the intruder becomes more violent, the dog will mirror that behavior. Follow. The boy. Good boy. 
You know, everybody wants to show a dog that's just smashing into people and, and, and biting and, and just attacking people. Um, you know, these dogs are a, a huge libel uh, in, a, in a real life situation. The intruder containment with the hold and bark is an incredible feature. Um, it, it's a feature which um, allows much more control, much more safety. Um, biting, dogs will bite. There's no doubt about that. They will bite. Um, can you control when and how they bite? That is the real uh, benefit. Take off again. Go and hide up again. And clip him. Full wow. out. You know, there will be those that are, um, they have no governance, they have no business, they have no liable, that would be screaming rhetoric now. Oh, the guy's escaped again. And, you know, if the dog had bitten him, he wouldn't have escaped. These are not. Uh, police officers. These are not security dog handlers. What we're doing at this time for this dog and this business is creating a true understanding of a search profile. So when they give him the Foran command, he needs to first of all understand that he needs to search the site. Um, and we need to establish and prove that. Um, and not only proof the search, he must find people hidden anywhere on this site. But not to bite unless uh, challenged violently or asked to uh, by the handler. Good boy, good boy, Call him into I'm Platz him. Platz, Platz. I'm bleeding, put your line on. Graduating to a position where you can um, send your dog in for a bite when you've understood the implications, when you have the knowledge of how to out your dog and recall your dog and plats your dog. All of these variables are absolutely critically important before we progress to a dangerous uh, activity. Our duty of care is to make sure that, you know, definitely the dogs can uh, and will protect the clients. But the whole point of our Zero to Hero program is making sure that every stage is not just good, but excellent before we progress so that they have the utmost control possible. Shut your dog down now. Now, put your sleeve on. Super We're now going to work on. <laughs> Keep your dog under control. Approach. Stay. Keep your dog under control. Keep your dog under control. Approach again. Keep Stay. your dog under control. Stay. Keep your dog under control. Approach again. Stay. Keep your dog under control. Step forward again. Keep your dog under control. The anticipation. Step forward. Keep your dog under control. Now give him the bite command. Loading the animal with overstimulation is purposeful because then we know we have control or not. So the dog can only bite when it's asked to bite, and this is progressive. Good boy. Good. Now out your dog. Out. Perfect. Good boy, Perfect. Super. Perfect. Not an issue. You alright? How you doing? You good? Good. Yeah. You alright, mate? Yeah. How you doing? Good. You alright, mate? As you can see, the blade is starting to come out. I haven't seen. Understanding our market, we really do understand our market. And, you know, our customers want an animal that's a pet, that's biddable, that's not just going to go around trying to bite people all the time, um, and is only engaging in such activities when there is genuine reason. Genuine reason to do so. 
which makes it a much better pet. Can hydroxy gag, a really important product uh, for, for working dogs and, 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 and just pets, great for their joints. The Balcando range of products. Um, this is the adult Iberico rice. They have a wonderful range for all life stages. And those that love cold press, um, we import a cold press product from Belgium. Um, again, you know, it's a product that you should really uh, try, you know. Um, the excellent, complete raw burgers. Um, you know, duck even have specific products uh, for animals with certain conditions. These meat burgers are so easy to feed, defrost and fair. <laughs> visit the Pooch DVD website. And if you need any advice, uh, call us directly, visit us on uh, Facebook, email us, and we will do all we can for you.